spend a hundred thousand dollars of YouTube. You're good. You're good. It's going very well or very wrong. 420 horsepower. Before today's video starts, I wanted to thank you guys for helping me round out the year, making 2020 what it truly is, and showing me what I can grow into. I've gained over 45,000 followers on Instagram. I'm at 35,000 subscribers on YouTube right now. We are on the road to 100K, a million after that, 10 million after that. Honestly, like, what is life? I cannot wait to ramp up production. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I threw in the most popular clips, my favorite clips, and just things that made me smile. So I hope they make you smile. Grab some popcorn, sit down, relax, and enjoy the video. Smash the subscribe button so we're on the road to 100K, and throw the video a like if you enjoy. And don't ever forget, I love you guys. There it is, guys. Ariel coming through. Oh my God, yes. I think it's got a KO4 turbo on it, but we'll dig into that. But right now we're just taking the car off the trailer and I'm really excited to show you guys this car, so. Ooh, we got that top drop. We're getting into it. I spent all day yesterday trying to figure out this exhaust and what kind of bends we're gonna need to do. And uh, today we're gonna execute all that. Cause we're busting out this hood stack on this Audi TT. Let's start this thing up and uh, let's hear, her. let's hear her rip. This thing sounds insane! Oh my god, I gotta turn this thing off. Hey, Karen! What's going on, bro? What's going on, bro? Holy sh... And he brought his Golf R. This thing is absolutely insane. Stage two, it's making about 420 horsepower, almost 400 torque. It's absolutely crazy. I'm gonna go for a rip in the Golf R. Oh, oh, oh my God. Is, that thing is insane. <laughs> this thing is nuts. 28, 29 pounds of boost this car is built. This all right, so I got my pilot fully drilled. Moment of truth, got the tape all laid down. We got our spot all marked out and we got the cardboard box underneath. So it's only one thing I do, pull the trigger and hope for the best. And just like that, it closes really well. I'm literally just gonna push it on with my hand. This thing is looking awesome. It finally has a hood back on it, which is just a feeling on its own. Guys, we are finally modding my Mark VI Jetta TDI daily. I had and I bought myself a set of BC BR series coilovers with an AK spring. All this stuff is literally brand new, rust free, which is awesome. Top hat is all tightened up, bottom's all tightened up. This is absolutely awesome. I am so hyped on this. This water bottle is so much taller than that lip. Before it was about that much higher over it. So we lowered this car, I don't even know how much. Someone give me some math equations down in the comments, but this is looking so good. We're gonna be making some wishy-washy turbo noises out of that Mark VI TDI. No way! Let's hear what this sounds like driving around. For now, I'm not all that worried about air filter or whatever. Like I said, I don't even have one on the purple car. So let's go for a drive in this thing and hear what it sounds like. Let's 
A year, you, you built this whole setup in a year and a half. Yep. Holy. Everything from paint, body work, engine swap. I did all the fab work. I did all the harness. I did everything on it. Jesus. So, this is my full map. I gotta tweak everything on it. Though. Oh my god. So, so, you do your own tuning as well? Yep. Jeez. Yeah, dude. So, with that, at like 14 psi, which is wastegate spring pressure, yeah. I'll be pushing like 500 pounds. No way. 500 horse, yeah. Holy. Oh my god. doing a Mark 5 to Mark 4 coilover swap on this 2001 Audi TT. There's no longer going to be that loose top hat. It's all solidly mounted up. This is what I had before holding it down. As you guys can see, that rubber has a lot of play. It has that pillow bearing in there. It's going to allow for no movement. Right now, I'm currently on 12K BC springs with the 12K BC body. And the old springs were just a regular 8K valve with a 28K spring. So it literally rode like dog poop. Now I went ahead and I fitted up the strut brace to see what else I was going to have to drill and cut and stuff like that. And it actually turns out I'm only going to need to cut one thing, which I'm pretty happy about. Look at that. That's like literally OEM fit. Gotta celebrate. aren't too bad they're covered in this slushy material but it's a full set type of day i've got traction control off in this thing i got my heat on high we got burnout marks in the driveway oh we've also got no windshield wipers which i don't really know if that matters i just want to pull the e-brake everywhere i go now just do burnouts it's a little bit of a bad habit but see if we can get some traction on all the salt they run through You guys are about to witness either this going very well or very wrong. I've got the airbag out. Since the steering wheel is locked, we're just gonna throw an M12 in there, spin her out, pull this bagger off. That thing came off buttery smooth. This day just keeps getting better and better. This eBay little hub adapter I got, it's got this window hole here, so you don't even have to remove the clock spring, which is literally a nightmare on most cars. Or the whole entire housing, you know, something I don't want to do on my birthday video, so make my day even better. Most people on YouTube are going to tell you, oh, I'll put in the horn at a later date. I'm not even going to bother with the horn. I don't even think it works. I'm just going to put this in here and I'm going to call it a day. I'm going to tighten it up, make it all safe, you know. <laughs> So rad. All these bolts are completely tightened up. Oh my, that feels so good and looks so good. It's my birthday and I'm stoked. She's blown up. I think I blew the Mark V up. Going to check the voltage right now. I did a burnout in the car and it just randomly died. And um, now it won't turn over. Tried bump starting it and the tires just locked up. So it's not looking good, boys. Joey's heading on over right now with the F-150. Hopefully we can either tow it up, push it up or something like that. But it has been confirmed the battery's completely charged. It's not turning over by key. When I put it into gear and let out the clutch, 
doesn't move when i put it in neutral and try to it's hopefully not seized hopefully it's something in the train so i'm gonna hook this up he said he's gonna bring a tow rope hopefully he has a good one because i don't really have the best stuff and um we're gonna hopefully pull this thing up the driveway just to start at least Perfect. You look at that time and our buddy joey pulls up oh, in yeah. f-150 looking like a stud senior jacket all right so i just told joey that he should just hop the curb pull into this area you're good you're good you're good <laughs> Anything that you would traditionally buy your parts from, I guess you could say. And I guess we're about to find out the fitment. I've never installed this, but oh, dude, dude, oh, this is legitimate excitement. I've wanted this. My friend Avi got one for his Mark Six, and I was just like, I need to have that. I need to have that. And the fact that it comes badges right here is awesome because I can get a TDI badge of any sort that I really want, or. I can just take it off. Well, happy holidays. That's a wrap on 2020. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for supporting the channel. Man, we are on the road to 100K. We're at 35K right now. Like, what is life? I love you guys so much. And I honestly don't even know if you, like, understand, like, how much, like, much YouTube and you guys mean to me. And just, like, reaching out to you guys in general. So remember, your vehicle is unique to you. You guys are awesome. Always smile. Don't even put you down. And I love you guys. And I will see you in the next video. Peace. I almost forgot to say it. I had to add this in. Happy freaking New Year's and please be safe. 2021, I want to be the biggest car YouTube channel that there is. If I don't spend $100,000 of YouTube ad revenue money on my channel this year, I want you guys to yell at me. I am going to spend all of it and we are going to make insane content. Let's just keep this energy going. Let's go.